Dzień dobry, cześć, hello. Today, guys, I'm coming from Lublin, Poland, with my girlfriend here. And today, I wanted to make a video about what shocked me about Poland and what shocked my girlfriend about the States. Are we filming? Are we live? I'm gonna get a fine if I do this. It's been a few weeks since I posted. Reason being is because I have pretty much just been traveling to Poland and then spending time in Poland with my girlfriend, her family, all of that. I've also been working on a couple of other things. I did a narration for the Polish embassy in the US. I've also been busy on my other channels as well. Some of you guys know I have a second channel. I also have a couple other channels too, but I don't list them. Today we're just gonna walk around, explore downtown, Stare Miasto, Lublin. 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 <laughs> Didn't we make a vlog? We made a vlog like three years yeah, ago. Was did. it three years? Yeah. Wow. Time is flying. flying. That's by. scary yeah. actually. So yeah, we're just going to kind of walk around the old town and talk about what shocked us about each other's countries. So anyways, guys, let's get started. Stay tuned. All right. So the first point that my girlfriend wanted to talk about what shocked her about the States is... Obese people. I knew, somewhat I knew, that Americans are not the thinnest people in the world. But when I arrived in the States, I was kind of prepared. Uh, it's gonna be a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. But then... I mean, you've um, never seen people that big before in your entire no, life. No, right? I knew Americans yeah. have problems in that respect, but I didn't expect these things to be that big. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, it was... It was quite a shock to me. I just didn't expect the majority of Americans to be obese because if you think about obese people in Poland that's not the same type of yeah. obese like yeah. in the States. I mean there's obese and then there's morbidly obese and she saw morbidly obese people and to have morbidly obese people in Poland is very rare. I mean of course there's obese people in Poland but morbidly obese 600 pound life TLC obese no <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Yeah but it points to this problem in the States that people don't really care about their lifestyle at all. <laughs> oh yeah by the way for anyone who's wondering I took COVID tests before coming to Poland. I don't have COVID. I made sure I got tested, everything was safe, I socially distanced, I wore a mask, don't cancel me. <laughs> okay, so the next point is drive throughs The next point, drive throughs and this is actually related to the first point that I mentioned. It's because Americans like to be lazy, that's my observation. They have drive throughs not only for food, like we do, for mm. McDonald's or KFC, yeah. but also for pharmacies, liquor stores, and banks. So there's none of that here? You don't no. even have bank no, drive throughs we, we at don't, all? No, I mean, at least in my area, we don't have it. Like, mm. I don't know how is it in Warsaw, for example, but in Lublin area, you're not gonna see it. Really? And this is probably another reason why Americans are so fat because they can, like, you know, access any type of place they want basically yeah. from their car. So the next point on our list is buses, like means of transportation in general. Uh, I feel like in Poland, no matter what city, no matter if it's big or not, no matter if it's a city or town or s something smaller, you still can access any type of bus you want and get anywhere you want. In US it's non-existent. And in his city I saw just one bus and I was in the States, I don't know, for like months, three or four three months, months total. Yeah. So it was a shock and I asked him what's the what's the matter? Like why don't you guys have any buses there? And he's like, you know, no one's using it. Everyone has yeah. their own car and that's how people <laughs> move around. Yeah. Okay, so the next point on the list is Christmas dishes. We are all in Christmas mm -hmm. vibe right now. Christmas yep. is coming. So let's talk about uh, that aspect. Mm. So I think both of our meals were kind of shocking to each other. Um, in Poland, it's like you take, it's kind of like a religious thing. You take yeah. bread first, right? Yeah. It's like the communion type of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's also like just a bunch of different type of foods that I was never used to, like the gelatin one with I mean, meat. Yeah, but What's we, that should, called? we should first mention that the um, tradition itself says that we should have 12 different dishes on the mm -hmm. table. Oh, they should uh -huh. include uh, fish, like fish in different form. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
but that's the thing in Poland. In the US when I came um, in the winter, like two years ago, uh -huh. and it was the first time for me to celebrate Christmas in the USA. I was kind of shocked because people were just preparing food that was just so random. It wasn't really connected to like Christmas stuff, yeah. just the way it is in Poland. It's like somewhat off of like a Thanksgiving meal. It's kind of related to Thanksgiving, but it's not necessarily. It's kind of different for every single family, but to me, it's usually a variation the, of a the, Thanksgiving the shock type of meal. For me, the shock for me was uh -huh. shrimp uh, rolled in bacon. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think on Christmas we had shrimp with bacon together yeah and in poland that's not the thing for christmas no yeah. it has to be like you know 12 dishes religious yeah. type of approach yeah that's it <laughs> yeah so and then there's also there's like weird foods that i wasn't okay i mean weird for me probably not yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. weird for you which was meat and like vegetables and a gelatin and they sell that in their grocery stores here Kambaliki. yeah <laughs> it's something that i don't personally like especially like the cold fish as well it was something that i'm just not used to at all and the texture is really weird. It's cold. You just, it's he just mushy. came here to roast our Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you did. No, I mean, you Let's can roast definitely. Your Christmas. Yeah, I mean, shrimp <laughs> with bacon was definitely a bit weird, I'm sure. It was weird. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, uh, still freezing. And look at this awesome view here. So one of the things that was shocking to me, honestly, is just seeing views like this. Like, I'm not used to seeing this at all. I mean, that's so cool to see. And it's honestly like, you can go to any Stadimiasto, any old town in any part of Poland, and you're gonna see like a beautiful view, and you're gonna get a little taste of the culture as well, because a lot of the food is um, different in a lot of different towns. So there's basically like variations of food um, in each part of Poland as well. I mean, just like the US and other places, but it's definitely cool to see Poland's different variations and stuff but yeah and also sometimes the buildings are a bit different depending on where you go the paint and all of that so it's cool to see to see all these buildings they're called kaminice mm -hmm. uh, like each one has like different style different color uh, yeah. slightly different architecture yeah different ornaments if you look at that like you know these things here and i think lublin was completely destroyed during the war right so <laughs> warsaw was lublin was partially partially okay yeah i wouldn't say it was entirely so uh, some of these are remakes of oh yeah old time oh yeah yeah okay so the next point is tax uh if you guys ever decide to go to the states <laughs> are you good i'm freezing but the mask is like making it so i have so much snot we didn't have to know that. Yeah, we can. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, tell us. Uh, so, I was talking about... You, you made me forget. Tax on food Tax and on, stuff like no, grocery it's stores. Not only food. Um, whenever you decide to travel to the States, just be prepared for this little shock. Uh, namely, if you go to a grocery store, for example, and you want to buy something, don't think that the price that you see on a shelf is the actual price that you're gonna yeah. pay because then you might get a little bit surprised if you go to the cashier yeah a lot of times it's they add tax to yeah. whatever the sticker price is so yeah so for example if you wanna if you thought you're gonna pay ten dollars for your groceries in fact you're gonna pay like eleven dollars yeah. or twelve dollars exactly so yeah. this was a little bit shocking because in Poland the price that you see on a shelf is the price that you're actually going to pay yeah Yep, and a lot of times, you know, you'll go to get a bunch of food at a gas station or something like that, and then you'll go to the register, and then next thing you know, it's like two dollars, a dollar more than what you thought it was going to be, and you don't have the exact change. Yeah, it's, yeah, it kind of sucks. It sucks. Yeah, so that's the problem. Like, if you pay with your card, it's mm -hmm. not a problem. But then, if you base right. your paying on cash yeah. only, then you might be in trouble. If you, for example, have ten dollars in your pocket, and then you yeah. think, you know, oh, okay, so I got my groceries for ten dollars, and then right. you go to the cashier, and yeah. it turns out, you know, you lack um, like a dollar or two dollars or whatever. Yeah. 
You know, I feel like I feel like we always are vlogging and filming when it's freezing cold <laughs> out, and today is no exception. No, it's it is just, windy. I can't feel my fingers right now. It's and just because you do not trust our weather forecast. Oh, you blah, blah, blah. Think <laughs> you're the best of uh, weather. No, the weather forecast here sucks. Weatherman. It's not accurate. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, and then the mask makes it so you have so much like snot in your nose. Water, water, snot, like snot, and then the sleep. eyelashes too. Like yeah. my eyelashes are raining right now. It's raining, man. Oh, so this yeah, is. Do you guys remember that vlog I did three years ago? That was right here. I mean, we were actually standing on this street right there, and this is kind of like what was this? A church that got destroyed during the war uh i don't remember the story oh uh, our tour guide Wikipedia. our tour guide doesn't know everything about her city My brain is frozen. she's not a true lublinian all right if you guys are ever in lublin by the way and you want a restaurant recommendation go to this place Kisha. it's basically armenian food and it is so good it's right near the center of the old town just best cuisine in lublin yes So we moved inside because it was absolutely freezing out and honestly I don't I don't know why we even vlogged today. It was that cold. But it was your idea. Yeah, <laughs> but anyways, the weather they said it was gonna be warm, but that's all another story. Uh, I just wanted to wrap this up with another point that I had, which another shock I have about Poland and the US and all of that. So in the US, if there is a church, for example, that's like over two hundred years old, that's pretty much ancient to Americans. And meanwhile, if you go over to Poland and in Europe, you know, we see buildings here that are, I mean, hundreds of years, yeah, thousands, thousands of years, of years, years old, really. And just seeing that is so weird. And honestly, I guess for me as an American, it's hard to even fathom that because I mean, it, it applies to me when I see a building that's like 300 years old in the US, I'm thinking, wow, it's just so old. But all right, so the next point is commercialization. And you know, in the US, when it comes to towns and cities and all of that, everything is commercialized. You're not gonna find like a nice little quaint small town like you will in Poland and you will in Europe in general. And I feel like that's really cool about Poland, especially is like, it's so cool and unique to see as an American to go to a place that's not like overly commercialized. And you know, they're just trying to sell you something down your throat all the time. Instead, it's just like these small local businesses and it's not a whole lot of McDonald's just placed around everywhere in Starbucks. You know, I'm sure maybe one day it's gonna be that way, but as for now, it's not that way. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. So I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll see you the next time. Dziękujemy, do widzenia.